535 right now. Let's get to some other top stories for you right now in your daily blend. Wuhan coronavirus. The deadly new virus has spread from China to the U.S. with the first confirmed case in Washington state. A 30-year-old man was diagnosed five days after arriving in Seattle from Wuhan, China. Health officials report the patient did not visit the Wuhan fish and meat market, which is ground zero for the outbreak. That's where teams are busy disinfecting the streets. The virus is now spreading from person to person. At least nine people are dead, more than 400 are sick. Anyone traveling from Wuhan to the U.S. will have to go through one of five U.S. airports, including San Francisco. Trump versus Thunberg. At the World Economic Forum in Switzerland, teen activist Greta Thunberg appears to be firing back at President Trump over comments he made about climate change. The United States will join One Trillion Trees initiative being launched here at the World Economic Forum. Planting trees is good, of course, but it's nowhere near enough of what is needed. The forum ends on Friday. I'm Carlos Herrera, live this morning at Mustard Seed School in Sacramento, where in just a few hours, this free private school for children experiencing homelessness will get a much awaited and needed expansion. In addition to the classrooms, like the one you see here, really nice classrooms, they'll be getting a new outdoor learning center that was really needed in this area. Take a look at your screen, though, the kickoff of the construction event is today. It'll have three buildings, gardens, a field, and a basketball court, outdoor classrooms, and a stage that'll have allow space for talent shows, theater productions for the kids here. Uh, really is a service needed for kids in the Sacramento area who were would be otherwise sleeping in cars and motels or even outside. Casey Niddle here joining me with Mustard Seed School. Really impressive work, right? Thank you so much. Yeah, we see um, between 15 and 35 kids a day, several hundred a year, and now we've had 6,000 since we've opened. For people at home uh, who are going to be watching this, how or uh, what, what are the requirements for, for kids to attend this school? Absolutely. Only requirement is experiencing homelessness. You need no documentation. We'll help get all that together to help that, kids enroll. That's a key point. No documentation needed. That means that you can just show up by 845 and you'll be able to attend school. Also, they will help you get or find that documentation to go to public school. So really much needed help in this area. The kickoff event begins at 2 p.m. You can call the number on your screen for more information. Kirsten, we'll send it back over to you. Oh, I love what they're doing there. Carlos, thank you so much for that update. And that is your Daily Blend. Folks, if you got something you want to share with us, when you see it online, just use the hashtag MorningBlend10.